On the roads of Ghana's capital, Accra, you see almost every make of car. From household names like Nissan, Toyota and Kia, to the much less affordable Mercedes-Benz, Range Rover and BMW. In fact, cars are one of Ghana's major imports. And the country spends about 500 million U.S. dollars per year on the industry. Local player, the Katanka Group, wants to get a slice of this. Katanka was founded by Ghanaian Christian minister and philanthropist Quadro Safo Katanka. Today, his son, Quadro Safo Jr., is the CEO of the firm. When we started this, I had a lot of comments from town that people used to say, oh, can this car actually move you from one point to the other? Can it take you from your workplace to your home? And what I did was to build that confidence level in the people, I did a nationwide tour. I personally sat in one of the vehicles, sent about three on the road, went to Tamale, went to Kumasi, went to the big, big cities. Katanka launched its range of vehicles in December 2015 with the range of sports utility cars and pickup trucks. Purchasing one of these will set you back 18,000 to 35,000 US dollars, a steep price for most Ghanaians. We have about three models at the moment. We have the SUV, we have the pickups. The, the pickups comes in two types, the, SUV, the 4x4 and the 4x2. And we have the little um, mini SUVs, that's how I call it, the K71. So for now, we are operating a three line um, assembly plan here. We, we intend to advance it by the end of the year to about five model assembly line. The reality is the industry is tough for a local player. Competition is stifled by established global automakers. About 12,000 new cars and 100,000 second-hand cars are imported into the country every year. Katanka also has to import some of its key parts. As a result, progress has been slow. We are still operating a semi-automated uh, system where there's 50% robotics, 50% uh, manpower. So with that, we have a, a limit of, um, let's say, six to ten cars a day. We had to partner with a, a Chinese company. With a Chinese company, the partnership was they send their engineers down here to further the education and the skill of my local engineers. Then after maybe a few months, two months or three months, they go back and my engineers take it up from there. The company says it is determined to see production and sales double, not just in Ghana, but the continent. They've sold just over 20,000 cars so far. But in the pipeline is a cheaper saloon car and new electric cars powered by 12 rechargeable batteries. Their strategy is to design and develop vehicles specifically geared for local consumers but with global ambitions. Uchio Koronkwa, CCTV.